I releasing a new cinematic the moment I'm done renovating my streaming room is just an absolute fucking miracle. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, my fellow warriors. Hope you're doing well. As you can tell, I just finished renovating my room, so we're like very colorful and like there's ambience and you know, I'm I'm a, I'm like a proper YouTuber right now. <laughs> it's been six long years since Shiruma got a cinematic, so you can imagine my excitement. Because so far, majority of the stories that we've been getting is about Demasa and Noxus. Not that I'm really complaining, but it's really nice to have something that is like not them for once, you know. I mean, even with the Targon release, the cinematic was amazing, but we didn't really get much lore out of it, besides like the really amazing new characters that didn't really add much to the ongoing plot. Not that there's really much plot, the Celestials are just chilling at this point. Which is why I'm glad that we have something as big as Shurima join the party. Shurima has one of the coolest stories, because technically that entire civilization was built off of the knowledge of this really angry space lizard. I will cauterize Targon with starfire. So not only that we have this crazy plot, but we also have like the Darken, the Celestials, the Void. There's a lot of things going on there, so I'm really happy that I'll actually be able to share it with you guys, because I know that we've been talking about Shurima for quite a while on the streams. As always, I'll watch the video, react to it, and try to explain some things along the way. So without further ado, let's get started. And go. Wow, three minutes? Almost four minutes? Oh my god, okay. <gasps> Ooh! Ooh, sand surfing! Okay, that's cool. Oh! Oh, wow, you're handsome. Okay, okay. Hello. Ooh. This kind of reminds me of Talia. Oh shit! It's kind of weird seeing someone like riding Renekton's cousin. <laughs> Ooh. Oh my god. I love the animation so much. <laughs> yes. Okay, okay. So he stole something from Renekton's temple. Okay. Oh, wait! Oh my god, is this Blizzard Lizard? Oh, my boy! Oh my god! Oh! Oh no! What is that? What is it? Oh my god! <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh my god, this is Nessus Library? <gasps> this is Nessus's Library? Oh my god! Oh my god, 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 oh my god! <gasps> oh my god! There comes the older brother! Okay, 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 okay! see them fighting just because Renekton is just like went insane he got corrupted by Zareth <gasps> oh my god burp dad oh my god wait what are you working to Oh my god, you guys are so brave! 
Shorty! Wakanda forever! <laughs> Yo! The waters! Oh my god! Bitch, y'all gotta thank me. I fucking manifested it. I manifested it. Look at this. Look at this shit. I literally posted about this three weeks ago. Of course, I would have preferred to actually see the ascension of Azir and Asus and Renekton to see what they looked like before they got, you know, animalified. Animalified? Is that a word? Okay, so from the very beginning, we see this guy. He's running out of Renekton's temple with an item of some sort. I've never really heard about this item. I've never seen it in any of the stories. So we're probably going to learn about this item uh, once the cards are going to be released. This guy, the evil dude that is chasing him, I guess he is a raider. Uh, in Shurima, they have raiders who attack other people. Um, there are also the Dormun and the Shakal, but they both have different types of outfits and weapons and tools uh, to maneuver throughout the sands in Shurimas. I would have probably preferred to see like a Shakal and a Dormoon here because they are absolutely cool. Like they're literally the coolest. They're like sand ninjas. So he manages to get away. Um, and that is where Renekton is watching him. Now, Renekton wants this item back for some reason. Again, this item was never mentioned in Renekton's lore, so I have absolutely no idea what this item is. Uh, but clearly, Renekton is not very happy about the fact that it was taken out of his temple. So he falls uh, underneath and he falls into Nasus's library, which is probably the coolest thing in the world. Um, this is where Nasus spent most of his time in. Uh, he is extremely smirt. It's just everything about this scene is just freaking mind blowing. It's just so beautiful. It's just so freaking good. Um, yeah, I just, I, I just can't wait to see what else we're gonna get where the car, when the cards are gonna be released. So we'll have a little, a little extra detail as to what is exactly going on in, uh, in here. But this is. This is Nasus's freaking library. <laughs> this is so freaking cool. Now, I don't know why Renekton and Nasus are fighting. Well, they are actually always fighting. That's their thing. That's their whole thing. Uh, that like forever and always they will be fighting one another. And it's really unfortunate because both Renekton and Nasus are such amazing siblings. They ascended together. Um, they have one of the most sweetest family brotherly story. And their only reason why they are fighting now is because Renekton has sacrificed himself to keep Zareth away uh, from the world and basically taking him with him uh, to try and stop him. And while being there uh, on the other side with Zareth, Zareth managed to brainwash Renekton and basically um, completely like deteriorate his mind and make him hate his brother. The, if, this, if this is what we're seeing right now, we are going to get one of the coolest freaking Ishtali cinematics in the world. This, by the way, is not just a fancy fountain. This is the Oasis of the Dawn, the same waters that Azir used to save Seaver after she's been attacked by our girl <coughs> Cassiopeia who stabbed her in the back. The waters have uh, um, this healing powers and Azir used them to bring back uh, his beloved family member because Seaver clearly has a um, blood connection to Azir. Yeah, this is extremely cool. I'm just, I'm so happy that this came out because like now that we know this is out, we're definitely going to get some amazing epic Ishtal moment. Like we have to get that because Ishtal is literally part of Shurima. Uh, Shurima doesn't really know that Ishtal exists. Ishtal like, you know, they're hiding themselves. They've been doing it for like centuries ever since like the void, the void war started in Akathia. Uh, they were like, nope, <laughs> we don't want to have anything to do with that. <laughs> I feel like, like Ishtal is going to be the next one. And if that's the case, boy, oh boy, uh, we, we're going to get, uh, we are in for a treat. Also, I wonder when we're gonna start seeing more Darkens, because technically Darkens are also from Shurima, and Varus is actually in Shurima currently looking for his sister, and his sister was in a tomb, but she wasn't in the tomb when he came, so there's a really big chance that 
if Varys's sister had become darkened, but that's just me. So yeah. <laughs> but yeah, this is all for today. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you'd like to support the channel, you can always check out my Patreon and donation pages. Huge thanks to today's Patreons like a Vector, Whisper, JC, Amorosa, Radic, Infind, John Doe, Repush, Offic, Absolute Yeast, Herak, Cluckwork Ronin, and TB Skyen for making this video possible. Again, thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>